I'm Jennifer Longden, a Democrat running to represent you in LD24. Voting starts on August the 2nd, and we've been at this for more than a year. I wanted to take just a moment and tell you again why I'm running. As most of you know, I was paralyzed by gun violence more than 14 years ago, and in that moment, it felt like I lost everything. I lost my family, I lost my stability, I lost my health insurance, my employment, I lost my future, I nearly lost my home. Um, and I really had to work to claw my way back, one by one, from each of those things. And I'm sure most of you know what that feels like, to be in danger of one more medical bill causing you to not be able to make the house payment. So. I started with working to pass the Affordable Care Act, and then I worked to get curb cuts in my neighborhood, which led me to serve on the Mayor's Commission for Disability Issues. And from there, I was able to work on our city's non-discrimination ordinance to protect the LGBTQ community and people with disabilities from discriminatory practices. Because when I lost my privilege, I started to truly understand deep inside myself what it meant to be marginalized. That when you are invisible, when you don't count, then you lose some of your um, avenues to justice. And that's one of the things that I wanted to restore, fairness and justice for everyone. I'm a parent. I raised my son in the Arizona public education system. He's been here from second grade through two degrees at ASU, and I value public education. Between a public education and public libraries, a person can mold themselves in any way they want to without benefits that maybe some other folks have. I worked on accessible housing because housing became very unstable for me for a period of time, and I was always just one more little thing away from being out. No one should have to live like that. I've worked on gun violence prevention all the way along because no one should face what my family faced the night I was shot. My little boy was brought to a hospital room to say goodbye. He was 12. Our children should never be that afraid or that brave. And every one of these kids who face school violence or violence on the streets ends up with that same look on their face. We can do more for our kids. I want to continue to fight for the things I've been fighting for, from public education to equity to housing and public transportation and gun violence prevention. And I'd like to do that at the state capitol for all of us. I hope I can earn your support. I'd be honored to earn one of your two votes. Voting starts on August the 2nd. Thanks.